I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, my experience of the MIG first PBD for glioblastoma at my institute. Uh, we also underwent in the preclinical trial with lead and mouse model of Alzheimer's disease. We also confirmed the safety issues of the PV opening like this. A couple of years ago, we underwent a PV opening trial for glioblastoma uh, during standard chemotherapy with temozolomide. So briefly, uh, with this in you know, the protocol, we just want to do the BB opening when we are combined with the Juvent TMD therapies. So we added the, the six times of the BB opening during adjuvant temozolomide therapies for Alzheimer's disease like this. We recruit six patients, and um, all the patient has you know, their six-week cycle of the temozolomide uh, adjuvant <coughs> therapies and the BB opening. For each patient, we are trying to open five or six target because at the time the, the device only can make one cubic centimeter size PV opening. And um, we tried total 134 target and among 144 target based on our the NST images and T2 stars, we confirmed that about 90% of our trial was successful. And we report our results in the Journal of Neurosurgery recently, and we confirmed the safety and the feasibility of the multiple BV opening for patients with glioblastoma. Fortunately, we have good uh, the outcomes. Among six patients, two patients showed the uh, recurrence of the tumors one year after the follow-up. All the other patients had followed more than two years, and uh, we had one Additional recurrence, so first three patients show the stable, the maintenance of the uh, 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 neuronic status and no recurrence. I will show you one example. This was my first patient and uh, 53 years lady, IDH was wild type, ambient was positive and 1P90 Q codilation and EG upper were negative. We didn't select any patient with neurological deficit. This is gadolinium in, uh, in images. I mean, this is without gadolinium. After the opening the BBB, you can see the uh, enhancing areas in the adjacent of the tumor resected areas. But as I mentioned, the, this only the opening of the BBB is limited to the one cubic centimeter. We didn't see any uh, complication like bleedings or edema or other signal changes on MR and CT scan. As we all were aware, the glioblastoma can spread out uh, very far away from the original site like this. We recently underwent in the BB opening trial for Alzheimer's disease with the new software from InsightTech. By using this one, we could open the very wide areas of the, the, the brain. We are trying to open the prefrontal lobe. Uh, we opened about almost 30 cc of the brain volume for this clinical trial. And uh, we confirmed in the BV openings in the frontal lobe. And um, we also identified that uh, before opening, we identified the, the accumulation of the amyloid plaque in the frontal lobe, but uh, after the opening the BBB, we also confirmed the re reduction of the amyloid plaque in the frontal lo lobe like this. So we will un <coughs> undergo the second clinical trial of the uh, BBB opening for recurrent glioblastoma with the carboplatinin from this May. And uh, we wanna apply this new extensive BV opening technique for this clinical trial, and we hope to see the better the result with the, this new method. I'm currently serving as a president of World Society, and uh, we will make a World Society meeting in next year in Korea, and uh, this in the BV opening clinical trial will be one of the most important topic for this meeting, I hope all the audience of the, this in the symposium can participate
this meeting. Thank you.